how do we know when we've sampled enough? It's all very well, we'll do five trials, everything will be fine. But that's not the real world. So what we've got to do is to sample enough that we trust our average. How do we know we trust it? It's stopped fluctuating. What I can do here is work out an average. Equals average brackets, first two cells, end of bracket. Average of three and four is three and a half. Sounds good to me. Now if I just drag that down, the problem is, oh, this is just an average of H4 and H5. We're not actually dragging the entire average down. As you can see here, if you have a look at this, average of H4, H5, H5, H6. So we have to come back to our original formula. We want an average from the first cell, which is H3, to the end. So if we put a dollar sign in front of the H and a dollar sign in front of the 3, that locks it. Still the same average. But now, as we move down, the average is from H3 to H8. It's correct. So we can drag this down. We should see our average becoming more stable. We'll probably need more samples. But by using the dollar sign, we've now locked in an average. We can now quickly graph this. Select our trials, select that. We want an XY scatter graph or a line graph this time. We don't want a line of best fit. We want to see exactly what we've done. Insert line graph. We don't need that line. It's just silly. After 18 trials, we've fluctuated. Has our data started to stabilize yet? Maybe it won't stabilize. But certainly, it's a line flatter through the end than at the beginning. Less fluctuate. You can see it's starting to stabilize. So by doing this, we can keep sampling until we see a stable average. In the real world, we would know that we've got enough data. The good thing is, you can set up a blank table before you go to a field and graph the blank table. You don't have a line. As you type in your data values as you go, it will work out your average. It will plot them. You can just sit in the field, add each data value as you go, till your average is stable. You know you've got enough data. Here's a quick simulation I got the class to do, where each pair of students sampled 20 times. We threw everything onto a Google document, so we had all the data, cut and pasted that data straight into Excel, and we had a lot of data here. Very quickly, you can see the moving averages, seven groups doing 20 samples each, gave us a lot of data. As we did that, we then made a quick graph, and you can really see here, big fluctuations in the average first, becoming more stable. You can see all four lines in the simulation took different amounts of time to become stable. It actually depended on the distribution pattern of the organism. So there is no easy maths way to say, I have enough samples. You need to graph it, because the time it takes to become stable is dependent on how they're distributed. These were evenly distributed, these were random, these guys were in clumps, and these guys were just around waterways. That would be how we make sure we sample enough times to collect meaningful data.